Hello, class. Good evening. Hello, hello, everybody. How are you guys? Welcome. Uh, turn on your um, microphone, Veronica. Hello, Veronica. Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? How's it going, Veronica wow. Hernandez? You going home, right? Oh, I'm Veronica Burgos. Oh, okay. Yes, I was checking Veronica Hernandez too. She's uh, going home. Thank you, Veronica. So you're ready for the class. Let's see. Oscar, hello, Oscar. Hi, Rafael. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm ready to class. Great. Hello. How's your day, by the way? Hello, hello. Hello, Oscar. How was your day? It's very good. Excellent. It was good? Perfect. Julio, always serious. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Nice smile. Let's see. But, um, okay, nice. Lady, how are you? I'm fine. Excellent. So we're going to start in a moment. Just let me charge my presentation and we're going to start, okay? okay. And let me see. Okay. So you're ready for the fun. Let's see. Let me charge that. Hola, hola, estoy probando los audífonos, no me conecta. Ok, Oscar, right. Ok. No, to todavía se oyen en el laptop, pero okay. ver, no sé qué pasó. Okay, guys, I think we're ready uh, to have a nice class today, and let's start. So let's see what the future has for us. Okay. Okay, session three. Uh, Lady, can you read the agenda, please? Session three, number one, warming up. Number two, class objective. Number three, free tasks. Model. Mm -hmm. Model. Uh huh. Can. Model can. can. Okay. Number four, task preparation. Number five, task. Number six, wrap, wrap up. Number seven, assignment. Okay, so we have an assignment. Assignment. Mm. Okay, so look at this. We're going to start with the warming up. And um, are you how how do you feel with that energy? So do you have a lot of energy today? It's Friday. How was? Uh, do you spend a lot of energy today? So you're ready to spend more energy? Energy? Yes. Huh? A... <laughs> okay, so it's going to be something easy. So don't worry. Not like yesterday. It's a lot of effort. Okay, so look at this, uh, instructions. So you're going to work individually and we're going to complete the following sentences. Uh, and you have to escape, yes, escape in the game, right? So I'm going to send you a link and you have to open that. So just let me send you that link. So be ready and check the, um, the link in the meetings chat, okay? Okay. 
Okay, so there you go. Good evening. So open the link. Open the link. So go to the meetings chat and open the link. And later on, what you have to do is to play something easier, right? Let's see. So what you have to do here, it's a game show quiz and you have to do it alone. Later on, we're going to do it together, okay? So you may start doing it. Same, yes. Do you all have this screen? Okay, ready. So start with the game and later on share your scores, okay? And um, well, finally we're going to do it together. So start doing it. I'm going to give you an example, but this is mine. You have to do your own, right? The Christmas quiz show, <laughs> let's see. Well, it's not this one. Let me see, well, this is just an example. The one that you have to do is different. Look at this, Mary can go to the cinema tonight. She have two A, B, or C. So what do you think? Any volunteer? So what's the right answer, guys? Has two. Have two. Okay. Has two. Little Has C. Two. Excellent. Perfect. So that's what you have to do with the game. But I want you to open and select. Okay, so you open the link, but you're going to select this one. Let me see. Mace case, I think. Yeah. Mace. Okay, this one. Okay, si no les aparece de esta forma, nada más ustedes lo cambian. Pero ya les compartí el enlace también. Okay, so the same, it's the same. You have to complete the exercises, the sentences with the right answer, but you have to use the buttons, okay? So you gotta move here, and at the bottom, you have the sentence. Let's see, Carlos, can you read the sentence? My friends are clouds, so they learn to jungle. Mm, okay, so can you see my screen? Um, no, en la pantalla no se ve. No se ve. No se, solo veo como un, un veo como un here at the laberinto. bottom. Pacman. Pac ah, ah un... yes, it's like Pacman. So look at the bottom. So you have to escape. So that's what I was telling you. <laughs> okay. A sentence is at the bottom. Look at this. So can you read the sentence, Rafael? Here, here. So can you check that? I'm going to die. Let me see if you can see that. Yo creo que no hemos entendido, teacher, mejor. Teacher, and we can uh, oh I can't see the, the, the sentence. Yeah. Okay. I send you the link. So it's the second link. So can you open it? Okay, but you have to use the buttons, left button, right button, and up and down. Tenemos que utilizar ahí los, los botoncitos de izquierda, derecha, arriba y abajo, para ir moviendo ahí el muñequito. Vamos a ver, por ejemplo, la oración sale, aparece aquí al, a, abajo, solamente aparece acá abajo. ¿Ya todos ven mi pantalla? ¿Se ve ahí el juego? Yes. Sí, sí, sí. Okay, entonces la oración aparece abajo. My best friend is in good at math, so she. And you have to look for the option. So you have to look. Ajá. Teacher, a mí me aparece el primer quiz siempre, el, el que lleva tiempo con, con la frase y las opciones ABC. Ah, 
Sí, eso iba a decir yo que el, Ajá. fue el segundo link. No me aparece el muñequito ese de. El segundo no les aparece. Ajá. Ah, claro. Aparece como el primero. Como ok, el primero. lo que tiene. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Pero ya pero la, la, es la pregunta que está hasta abajo no se logra leer bien porque está bien al pie de la página. Ah, pues. Ok. Si no descargue ahí, pueden hacerlo con ese. Si ustedes ven acá, eh, cuando abren el link, me imagino que de, un, de una vez les, les aparece el juego, no les permite cambiar la opción, ¿verdad? Ah, hay que cambiar la opción. Tienen que cambiar el juego. No, de juego. Por ejemplo, aquí está el quiz, era el que teníamos al principio. Ustedes sí, cambian por chase. el maze, chase. Maze chase. Ajá. Eh, ok, hoy sí ya lo veo, gracias. Ok. Ah, una consulta, ya, ya pasó asistencia. No, yet, no, yet. We're going to pass after the game, ok. So try to do it and send your screenshot. So we're going to check how you do it. Ok, ¿ya todos lo lograron abrir? Bueno, no importa si les aparece el otro, el Game Show Quiz o ese. Cualquiera de los dos está bien. So you have to select the correct one. It's the same game. ¿Verónica? Uh, try to. Ok. No sé qué hice, teacher. No Sorry, I can't play till tomorrow. I. Oh, no, she's doing it alone. Oh, ella yeah, lo está jugando. I have. Vamos a hacer I... algo, lo vamos a hacer acá. I don't. Me parece que algunos. Este, se... I have. I have to play hockey. Esta es la razón. Ya lo están haciendo. Ok. So we're going to start with the first option. Ok. Esta. Ahora para mí. Adiós. Ok. The same. Uh, let's see, Rafael. Read the sentence. Read the sentence. Mary can go. Uh, to the cinema tonight she stay at home mm -hmm. so what's the right answer a b or c have two doesn't have two or has two uh, b b she stay at home ah too much time <laughs> b c <laughs> okay the next one ready for this one Somebody, my parents can go to Italy this year. They don't have to, have to work. They have, have to. to work. Uh huh, Julio? Have to. Have, have to. B. B, okay. Nice. The next one. Let's see. Next one. So how about this one, guys? My friends are clowns, so they... Don't have to. Uh-huh. Doesn't have to, have to, and don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to, see? You sure? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's see, Julio, please pick one card. So just hold on, they are going to next. Okay, pick one. The, the second one. The second one, okay. 50 points, nice. Let's see. And lady, please um, help us with question four. 
Caroline wash her car today because it's raining. Doesn't have to. Okay, doesn't have to. Excellent, let's see, you ready for the next one? Help us, Miguel. Si, sí, Carlos Miguel or Elena. Question five. Sorry, I can't play football tomorrow. I. What's the answer? I don't have to, have to, or has to, guys. Yeah? So what do you think, guys? Has to. Has to, okay. Has to. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're okay. going to check that later. Have to, I have to, I have to. Let's see, question six. Marlene, Ana Marlene. Help us, Peter. Sorry, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Rosa. Okay, don't worry. Um, so you can join us later. Rosa, help us with this one. Hurry up, somebody. Uh, has to? Has to. Okay. Let's see. Nice. Okay, so we're going to just check one of that cars. Okay, let's see Elena, pick one. Mm. Car one, two, two, two. two. Okay. 50 points again. Let's see. We're going to check the score later. Um, Nilton, Nilton, help us. What okay. Um, Jose Luis, what do you do? Uh, is... So what do you think that woman has to, have to, does Those it? don't have to, little C. Letter C, okay. Dawson, Dawson have two. Awesome. Yeah. Excellent. Let's see, how about the next one? It's A, number A. Help us with this one. Let me see who else is here. Okay, Oscar. Yo presentía que a mí me iba a decir. Yeah, you're at the, at the top of the list. What do you think? You, you don't, you have to, or you doesn't? A. A, okay. Yes. ¿Quieren el comodín del público? <laughs> no. No. Ah, so you have to check the sentence. Question nine. Igual que, igual que el de los aviones, está porque uno por ir leyendo choca con las otras nubecitas. Ya fui a jugar ahí al otro lado. <laughs> yes, that one is difficult. Yes, yeah. even when I play. Let's see, lady. Ready, lady? What do you think? Children doesn't. Children doesn't. B. B. Okay. Any other opinion? Children doesn't? Yes. <laughs> children. Children is plural. That's why. So you say child. Child, singular. Children, plural. Mm -hmm. So it was done. Okay, pick uh, Elena, pick one. Five. Five. Okay, let's see. Wow, better. So we're improving. 200 points. Let's see. Let's see somebody. Diana. Diana, help us with this one. My mother doesn't have to. My mother has to. Or my mother have to go to the shopping center because she needs a new bag. 
have to. Have to. My mother have to or has to. Think about it. Somebody else? Uh, mm, no. Okay. Time. Mm. Time's up. Mm. It was has, right? My mother, singular. She has. Okay. How about this one? Ladies and boys, help me. You have to. Mm -hmm. You have to. Okay. You have to go to the park because it's very windy. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was already answered. What was the answer? Don't have to. Well, it was it was wrong actually. I think. See, Teresa can't see very well, so she. So we practice with the, some of these. Yes. How do you see? Let's see. Let's see. see. Has to. So she has to. Perfect. Uh, let's see. I think that we finish. No, we. Ah, okay. Yes, we finish. Okay. Next round. Please, uh, let's see. Clelia. Hello, Clelia. Clelia, Daniel. Hello. Hello. Okay. Clelia, please pick a card. One, two, three, or five. 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 Okay. Okay. So we're going to do it quickly. Okay. So we multiply the speed. Question 13. Paul. What's the answer? Hurry up. Has to. Has to, okay. <laughs> nice. Ready? So we have two more questions. Somebody, mm. my, my pet. Go for me. Don't have to go. Read the sentence. Five, four, eight, three. Has a B. B. Okay. I think C. Okay. It was C. So what is the answer? Doesn't have two. Mm -hmm. So we have to read the sentence double two times at least. Let's see what do you think about this one. My best friend isn't good at math, so she so she has to has to mm -hmm. has to nice. And let's see, do we have any other? Sim, Carlo, well, let's see, Miguel, Miguel, big one. Oh, um, three, number three. Number three. Okay, so I wanted the speed one, but well, 50 points. Okay, the last one. Can we finish with this one? My grandparents. My grandparents doesn't have to uh, go. Doesn't, doesn't have to go to the cinema because they have a big screen at home. You sure? Okay. Um, hey. Hey, you sure? My grandparents, plural. They. They. Two. They. Two. Don't. B, right? They doesn't don't. Do. Doesn't do. They don't. They don't. Doesn't. Don't. Don't. Okay, so we're going to check that. Let me see if I have the Okay, we're finished with that. Let me close that. And, um, okay, I'm going to pass it tenuously, so please help me with that, guys. Stay present and turn on your cameras, please. Well, 
was listening to Santa Fernanda. <laughs> Let's <laughs> the neighbor. <laughs> the neighbor. Now, now it's Friday. It's Friday. They're happy. So they're getting ready for, I don't know. <laughs> it's Saturday and Sunday. Okay, let's see. Ana Marlene Andrade. Where is Ana Marlene Andrade? No. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Veronica Hernandez. Present me. Thank you. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Blanca Isabel. Teacher. Hola. Eh, fíjate que yo por error me conecté a otra sala y creo que habían otros más conectados ahí, solo que no me recuerdo el nombre. Mm. En el primer link que nos mandaron, creo que al contacto personal, no en el grupo. Uh -huh. Entonces vi que habían unos conectados ahí también. De acá. Porque yo me conecté antes de las, de las 8. Por eso llegué tarde aquí porque Diana me dijo que era otra. Y yo me había equivocado. Entonces, a lo mejor ellos están todavía esperando ahí. Ok, bien. Vamos a enviar el que nos enviaron la primera clase. Bye. Ok. Sí, yo creo que sí. Vamos a ver. Bueno, según este que enviaron, está correcto, pero... Bueno, vamos a ver si son una ahí. Thank you. Let's see. Um, Blanca Luz Delgado. No. Okay. Carlos Miguel Umaña. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you, Roberto. Carmen Elena. Present. Thank you. So I got a, a way how to learn your names. I'm going to learn your second name. Let's see. Carmen Guadalupe. Guadalupe. <laughs> Carmen Guadalupe, you here? Okay. Clelia Estela Flores. Present. Thank you, Clelia. Daniel Alberto Ramos. Present, teacher. Daniel Alberto Ramos Osorio. Sí. Yeah. Ah, okay. Thank you. Diana Maribel Hueso. Present. Thank you, Diana. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Not here. Let's see. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Okay. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Okay. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Presente. Thank you, Julio. Lady Joanna. Present. Fernanda Ventura. Present. Thank you, lady. Nilton Alexander Vasquez. Present. Thank you, Nilton. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Rafael Antonio Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Rosa de Los Ángeles Enríquez. Present. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos. Present teacher. Thank you, ladies. Okay, so now let's continue. Okay. Okay, so look at this. Uh, for our previous knowledge in today's class, we have to complete the following paragraph about some responsibilities that you have at work. So I want to know a little bit about uh, your responsibilities. And here we have the paragraph. There are many activities I have to do. For example, I have to clean my office or I don't know the, the apartments or the place where I work and I have to do the laundry, for example. Then I have to, what, what is another activity that a janitor uh, has? So what do you think? So I'm giving you an example. 
I have to clean. And I have to do the laundry, for example. So what could be another activity, guys? Then I have to, any other idea? Um, Rafael, what do you think? Another activity. Read, mate. Okay, repeat it, please. Uh, how to read? Read, okay, probably read my activities place, for example here so that the goes here so i have to read my activities list in addition i have two so what could be another activity in addition i have two what else please for example mop the floor finally i have two okay for example check the floors Sorry. okay so that is what i want you to do so please start writing that paragraph and complete that so just complete that i'm going to be asking you one by one so think about some activities so it means one two three four five activities five activities that you normally do at work so what could be some of them for example I have to, uh, let's say, get up early and go to work. I have to check some emails. I have to send emails. What else? Let's see, Carlos, what do you think, Carlos? What's another activity? My reports, what else? Write reports, uh, read reports. Uh -huh, read them, okay. For example, if you're in charge of uh, checking the payroll, I have to check the payroll, I don't know, the inventory. Uh, okay. Check the factory. Mm -hmm. Check the inventory. Ooh. Can you repeat it, please? Factory. Uh-huh. Supervisor in the factory. Okay, I have to supervise the um, employees, for example, yeah. or the work. What else? What other activities do you have to do? Attend, attend the clients. Okay, attend clients or attend meetings. The cost uh huh. So I normally say assist. I assist. Clients, uh, ten yes. meetings means assisted, right? Well, I can. Th I think that you can use that interchangeable. Attend and assist. So you help. I give uh, probably I help customers. What else? Uh huh. I had to visit the court. I ha you have to visit the court. Are you a lawyer? Yes. Oh wow! So you can help us. <laughs> Okay, guys, if you want to get married, we have a lawyer here. <laughs> Let's see, what else? Uh, for example, I have to, um, let's say, they make phone calls. Make phone calls, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Answer the phone, probably. Check the uh, exam. Uh, check okay. the exam. Yes, check exams. Okay, so you check exams. Elaborate them. You have to elaborate exams and plan and plan some classes, for example. Okay, so you have to plan the classes. Have, uh, have audience with the coach. Okay. So you have an audience with the um, judge? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Yeah, that's actually helped. Well, let me check that. So what else do you have to do? Tell me, think about the activities that you normally do. And you have to complete this with three, four, five activities. So start thinking about your five activities. Mm -hmm. Dutch. Okay. Um, let's see, Rosa, what give me one activity that you do? I don't know. I go to the supermarket, for example. Okay, let's see who is ready. Who's ready? Tell me who's ready. Can I just list those five activities? Just think about five activities. See who's ready? Okay, Veronica, ready? Yes. Okay, so read your information. I have to say, uh, any uh -huh. other I I told you. So you have to complete that uh, information, the, the five sentences with this paragraph. So there are many activities I have to do. For example, I have to in. I have to sign sign some document mm -hmm. and I have to go the, to the court. Mm -hmm. And then I have to, to have an audience with the heart and I have to assist the customers. Mm -hmm. And finally, I have to, to take my, my lunch. <laughs> okay. So you have to have lunch. You have to have yes. lunch. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I have to, um... to, take, to take my lunch. Okay. But I don't have to mail for about that. Uh -huh. For example, I have to eat. Instead of saying I have to have, you say I have to eat. Okay. Excellent, perfect, very good. Please select one person or a victim. Select one classmate, Veronica. Hello? Mm -hmm. Select a classmate. Select a classmate. Select a class week. Uh huh. A classmate. So I need a volunteer, but you select that one. Oh, let me select it. Okay. Um, supervise the employees. Mm. No, okay. No, just select one person from the class. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I chose to uh, Rafael Antonio Hernandez. Okay, Rafael. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Rafael, tell us. Thank you. <laughs> there are many activities I have to, for example, I have a power on my computer. I have to um, check, check the real uh, response emails. And then I have to check the state of uh, systems. Mm -hmm. And I don't uh, have to um, um, uh, uh, then I have to um, meet meet a provider. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I have to uh it okay okay so you meet with the providers or the suppliers uh, uh -huh. the suppliers Just okay forward. nice please select one person uh, it's okay uh, carlos miguel carlos miguel okay carlos help us so Hello. read your information 
Okay, there are many activities I have to do. For example, I have to uh, check my email and I have to send two emails. Uh, then I have to uh, uh, reports in addition, I have to uh, prepare my class. Mm, okay. uh, finally, I have to uh, uh, I have to go my class. Uh, I would down have to make a, a I don't have to make a reports about that. Okay, excellent, very good. So I have to go to, so I have to go to class. So you're indicating direction. Lady, lady, okay. I have to design activities for teachers and students. I have to update formation needs and training training plan for teachers and principals. Mm -hmm. I have to coach him to teacher and principals. I have design uh, of the training process for CBE. CBE, what's that CBE? Son consejos directivos escolares. Ah, okay, CD. okay. So you have to train people, okay. Nice, very good. Let's see. Um, listen up. I'm going to give you some time so you can discuss that with your classmates. But uh, I'm going to give you just uh, some like three minutes. Okay, so I want you to discuss this. Okay, so I'm going to assign you to work in the breakout rooms and you may start working with them. Is it clear what you're going to do? You're going to read your paragraph. Okay. So here we go. Join the breakout rooms, guys, and start discussing that with your classmates. Teacher, we have to go into uh, rules number six. Yes, you have to go. Yeah, you are assigned to go to room six. Join, join it. Join, okay. Uh -huh, and share your paragraph. Hello, Ana y, ah, bueno, Ana Marlene. Vamos, Ana Marlene. Hola, ¿me escucha? Está como ahí antes. Ah, está sí, te escucho. Eh, lo que pasa cuando me, cuando me sacó al grupo pequeño, me sacó del todo, de la, no sé por qué la plataforma, pero ya volví a entrar. Ah, ok, pero verdad que todavía va en camino. ¿Lo puedo poner de oyente? Sí, como a las nueve voy a llegar a la casa. Ok, la puedo poner de oyente nada más en un room. Sí. Perfecto. De acuerdo, gracias Marlene. Ahorita. Ay, vamos otra vez. No, no yet. Uh, did you share your paragraph? ¿Ya compartieron su párrafo? Mm, no. No. Vive sola. Vamos a, a contestarlo según lo que nosotros hacemos en el trabajo y lo vamos Ajá. a compartir todo. Sí. Uh, bye. Um, you have a, you have Entonces. Empiezo yo. 
Miss. Bueno. Eh, There are many activities I have to the eh, municipal. Push, no sé cómo se dice, compras. The shops. Shopping. Eh, shopping. Eh, to, the, to the check in, inventory. The, I have to. No. Eh, no sé cómo se dice rellenar de... eh, llenar como por ejemplo completar una forma ajá llenar las órdenes de compra fill in ¿Cómo? fill in fill in orden orden no. bus fill in some form shop my... okay fill in lo voy a poner acá en el chat fill in some purchasing um... Forms, o sea, ahí está. Ah, filling some version from. Finally, I have to. I think. How to? But I don't have to make reports about that. Okay. Okay. So you have to say. Let me see. Well, you can say shopping or purchasing, any of them. Okay, Julio, read okay. yours. There are many activities I have to do. Uh, first, I have to write my to my job, and I say the email to my boss. I have to uh, make word orders, and I have to check if all the people stay in your the workplace then i had to pass a assistance the supervisor and and that's all in the first mm -hmm. okay the so you have to pass hour. attendance right i have to pass attendance uh -huh. attendance attendance okay thank mm -hmm. you thank you guys so now let's Go back, okay. Okay. Okay, I have just some observations, guys. And, um, well, check that pronunciation for have to, have to, there are, okay, there are, oops, something like this, there are, so there are many activities that I have to do. For example, I have to uh, plan my class and I have to upload my lesson plans. Then I have to check my emails. In addition, I have to respond or answer that emails. Finally, okay, the word finally, finally, I have to um, turn off my computer. That's a start. But I don't have to make reports about that. Okay, have to, there are, and finally, finally. Okay, so now let's continue. We'll continue with the topic for today, but we're going to read that objective. So we're going to learn a little bit about um, how and where people, let's see. Okay. People can stack certain products at workplace. So we're going to check that in the manual today. Okay, stack means store. So that's the meaning, store. 
So where people store. And we're going to check some vocabulary. Look at this. Shelves, shelves. Okay, so listen up and repeat that with me. Shelves, shelves, shelves. 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 We have a V sound at the end. Shelves. 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 Okay. Shelves. Shelves. Cold storage. Cold storage. Cold storage. Cold Wine cellar, wine cellar, wine cellar, and wine cellar. Cheese room, cheese room, cheese room. So, um, while we're talking about this, because um, the companies they normally have some warehouses where they, or well, some specific places where they store products. So that's why we have this. For example, you can uh, put some products on shelves. And some others, you probably need some cold storage. Like, what's a cold storage? Any idea, cold storage? Or probably a cold uh, room, could be. Or rooms, right? Um, barrels, so what are the barrels? Barriles. No, barriles, right? Barrels. And the pallets? In a wine cellar, any idea? Ah, vi, la celda de vino. I like swimming. Okay, Hola. sería la... Como bodega. Una bodega. Una bodega de vino. Una bodega de vino, un cuarto donde guardan el vino. And the cheese room. room. Una cama. Un cuarto. Una cama. Yes, un probablemente un cuarto. Me parece que son como, bueno, bueno, parece una cueva, pero puede ser un cuarto. En otro lado, una cueva. Nada más. Habitación, cuarto, ¿qué habitación? Sí, sí. Ya, un cuarto, un cuarto. ¿Y shelves qué es, teacher? No, no, son, no sé. Son estos, shelves. estantes. Estantes. Ah, estantes. Estantes. Ok. Nice. So let's practice a little bit more. Shelves. 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 Shelves, 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 well, in this context, it means like a, a, a room. Uh, why cellar? Uh, cellar? Uh, what is? Okay. Okay. Ellos son mayores o menores que tú? Un bodega. Un cuarto, un cuarto, una bodega. Ah. ¿Bodega de vinos? Eh, una bodega, bodega. Una bodega uh -huh. que normalmente está ubicada eh, underground, por ejemplo, por decirle algo parecido, uh, <laughs> cuarto, abajo, un sótano, algo así. Okay, so now let's continue. Let's check some more information. No, and now we're going to continue with this. Okay. My family. Check that. Okay, better. So look at this. We're going to study this model bird expressing ability and possibility. Uh, I think that you have seen these. We're going to learn a little bit about can and cannot to express ability or possibility. Number one, so we use that in order to express ability and possibility. I can swim. Can you swim? Can you swim? So what's the meaning for that? I can't uh, swim. Mm -hmm. So what's the meaning for this verb? Verbo poder, ¿verdad? So remember that we use these modal verbs in order to express ability. Swing, uh, nadar, tal vez. Uh-huh. Yes. So can you swing? Uh-huh. 
Can you swim? Do you swim? Yes, no? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I, yes, I am fish. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. The second usage. Permission. You can use my pen. So you can use my pen. Tú puedes usar mi lapis o lapicero. Mm -hmm. A lapicero. Okay. You can use my pen. And look at this. We have the negative form. Oh, I mean, can plus verse. So we're aiming at the structure. So we're checking the structure. We use subject, modal verb can. We need a base form. And we have the complement, right? He can speak English. He can speak English. No, right? So we don't add S in this case. So when you remember that when you use a model verb, you don't have to add S. So he can to speak English? No. So you don't add an infinitive. So you have to keep in mind these two, um, these two things. No S and no to. Not the particle to. So you only add the base. He can speak. El puede hablar. Okay, so I don't want to listen. He can to speak. No, never. Okay. So he can speak. He can speak. He can speak. Let's check the affirmative singular. I, you, he, she, it can. Look at the birds. Look at the birds here. He can, I can speak. You can ride a bike. He can drive a car. She can play the guitar. And he can swim. Right? Do we add S? Yes or no? Agregamos S ahí? Yes? No? What do you think? No, no right? No. 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 So now let's check the plural form. We can play football. You can see the stars and they can dance. Mm -hmm. Just keeping my dad, right? Um, subject. <laughs> Subject plus modal can plus the base form of a verb. And that's it. So that is the structure for an affirmative sentence. Subject, modal can, base form of a verb without two. Okay, so now let's check the negatives. Negative, look at here. Here. I can't speak French. So in this case, you're going to use a contraction. Okay. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Cannot. So mm -hmm. sometimes you will see this, and mm -hmm. sometimes you will see this, right? Cannot, cannot, and can't. So we normally use this one, okay. But you can also see. Examples, I can't yeah. speak French. You can ride a horse. Okay, help me with the microphone. Thank you. See, uh, you can drive a truck. Okay, let me check who's that. Okay, he can drive a truck. She can play the piano. It can't fly. Examples, plural. We can play tennis. You can see, okay, germs. And they can sing. Wait, I can't sing. Contraction, look at this. Can't, cannot. He can sure. sing or he cannot sing. So that's a contraction too. Yes, tell me. Uh, uh, pronunciation. Can't. 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 Okay, let me play that for you. Can't. Mm -hmm. So that depends. That depends. For example, in a, in a gator, in can't. So if that is American, you say can't. 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 It's a semi vowel. Can't. 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 Uh huh. Can't. I can't speak French. I can't speak I can't. French. Okay. Mm -hmm. If that is British, can't. You'll say something like an oh, can't. Can't. 
Can you hear that? No sé si se escucha. Y, Ahí me estoy poniendo un audio. ¿Y quién? Y, uh, 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 ¿En afirmativo? ¿Quién? Can't. ¿Quién? ¿Qué es quién? ¿Quién? He can't. Don't. Okay. Uh -huh. The difference is the final sound, the T. Can't. Okay. Listen up. Can't. Yes. Can't. Can't. That's a negative. That's a negative. Can't. can't. Mm -hmm. The difference is that T. Can. 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 Can and can. Okay, so let's continue with this question. So we're going to check some more examples. Affirmative, look at the affirmative example. They can speak Spanish. Question, we're going to in very order. So you're going to pass the model at the beginning and then you place the subject. Can they speak Spanish? Yes, they can. We answer with a short answer. Yes, they can. No, they can can't okay they can't okay so now let's check some more examples any questions so far guys any question so i'm going to show you a presentation so we're going to check some more examples only use an ability um, they have, it has many uses. For example, ability, permission, request. We're going to check uh, just possibility, permission, I think, and request, I think. They have, it has like six usages. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Okay, give me one second. Okay, so can you see my screen? Hello, hello, guys. Can you see that screen? Yes. yes. Awesome, thank yes, you. Look. look at this. Ability and permission. So we're going to check that to usages. Uh, can you help me, Rafael, with that information, please? Expressing ability. Okay. Do we use the modal verb can to express that we know how to do sometimes the negative forms in can't or cannot? Cannot. 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 More formal. Can't. It can't. Are always followed by a verb in the infinitive. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the structure, right? Same. So look at this. How to use them. Use the infinitive without two after can and can't. I can swim. You can run fast. She can ride a bike. We can't speak Japanese and they can't play the guitar, right? More examples, questions. How do we form the questions? Help me with this one. Let's see, Carlos, Miguel. Hello. Questions, uh-huh. For question, change the order of can of can and the person. Can you swim? Yes, I can. Can she play the piano? No, she can't. What language 
language you speak. Mm -hmm. What languages and can you speak? Okay. English and French. <laughs> okay. So that's just an example. So look at this. We invert the order again and we have a short answer. Examples. Let's see. Um, Elena, please read the example. Uh -huh. Yes, please read the example. Okay. My brother can play the piano. Okay. Continue, please. Michelle helps can swim very, very well. Okay. Continue. Go ahead. We have a lot the of people. Okay. <laughs> the hero can ride a bike. Okay. Girl. The girl can girl. ride a bike. Okay. Let's see. The babies uh -huh. can't read. 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 Mm -hmm. Elena, help us with the next one. He can't run 10 kilometers. Kilometers. Kilo kilometers. Okay. Veronica, continue, please, with the next one. Okay. Can, can dogs speak? Okay. No, so, what is they it? Can't. <laughs> All right. No, they can't. No, they can't. Okay, continue, please. Can cat climb tree, trees? Climb. They, they climb. Uh huh. Can cat climb trees? Yes, they can. Okay, continue. Can you speak English? Okay, yes, we can. Yes, you can. Oh, yes, I can. Excellent. Let's see. So let's continue with this one. Roberto, help us with this one. Expressing permission. Expressing permission. We also use can, can't to ask for and give permission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to use this in order to ask for or give permission. Examples. Can you read the example, please, Miguel? Can I go to the toilet, please? Mm -hmm. So you asked for permission, right? Let's see. Oscar, please continue with the next example. Okay, that's the okay. answer. Yes, you can. Okay, read that question. Uh huh. Can I speak to Homer Simpson, please? So, what's the answer? Can I speak to Homer Simpson, please? Look at this. No, you can't. He's sleeping at the moment. Yes, right. Now you can't. So you normally use this modal verb in order to ask for permission. You ask for it or you give permission. You can go to the party, guys. You can come late on Saturday. <laughs> so you give permission and you ask for that. Request, what is a request? Look at this. Uh, help me with this. Clelia, please. Clelia. Um, and we use can to ask some, somebody to do some, something. Can you please? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we use can to ask somebody to do something. Can you? So can you give me a verb? Verbs. For example, can you pass me the salt 
please? So can you pass me the salt, please? What else? Any other question? Can you help me, please? Can you call him, please? Can you bring, I don't know, uh, let's see, the towel, please. The towel. Can you open the door, please? Can you open the door, please? Can you open? Can you read the instructions, please? We never read instructions. So can you read the instructions, please? Can you buy? Can you buy? Bread. Bread, yes. What else? Close the window. Okay, can you close the window? Go bye. to home. Go home. Okay. Uh, can you go uh, home? Listen to me, please. Excellent. Can you listen to me? You can carry me. Mm -hmm. Can you? Carry me. <laughs> bring, bring the password. Carry. Uh -huh. Can you take me home, for example? Me puede llevar a casa? The, like the movie, right? Take me home. Yeah. You take me home. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Can you bring uh, my bag, please? Or can you give me money, please? Yeah. Yes, I can. Yes. So some. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Awesome. Look at the examples. Can you close the door, please? Continue with the examples. Let's see, help me with this one. Uh, Nilton, Nilton, please. Where is Nilton? Okay. Can you turn off the lights, please? Mm -hmm. Turn on, what's the meaning? Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. So turn what's the on. meaning? What is the meaning now? And send it, right? So can you okay. turn on the lights, please? Can you pass me some water, please? Can you pass some water, please? Water, water. Water, water, please. Okay. Okay, nice. So we're finished with that. And so you're ready for a task. So let's go back to the picture that we have here. Let me clear that. Okay. Can or can't. So we have Simon and Sarah. Let's see, tell me, what are some things that, that Simon can or can't do? And um, let's start with Simon. Look at Simon's activities. Simon can't uh, play the guitar. Okay. Mm -hmm. He can't, right? He can't. can't. Yes, can't. Okay. Yeah. Pay attention to the pronunciation, can and can. Mm. Okay. What, what about, let's see, Sarah, can she play the guitar? I'm not. No, she can't. No, can't. she can't. Okay. What else? What else Simon can or can't do? Simon can play basketball. Uh huh. Simon can play basketball. How about this one? And um, play golf. Ah, he can play golf. And, <clears throat> and play ball game. Uh huh. Oscar. Uh, yeah, Simon. He uh, he play. I. He can. Uh, play ball game. Okay. And how about this one? <laughs> right. He can the horse. This one. Mom, the horse. Right. Simon, Simon, Simon ride can. The horse. Okay. Ride a horse. Ride a horse. What else? Can, can not, Simon. Can uh, not skateboard. Uh huh. Simon, Simon can't. Can't. Mom, the horse. 
Uh -huh. Simon can uh, ride a horse. Can Simon play video games? Yes. He can play the piano. He yes. He uh -huh. can not. Oh, he can. Oh, okay. yes, you're right. You're right. Simon can't. Oh, the first one, the first one, right? Okay, Simon can. And uh, the last one? Play basketball. Play basketball. How about Sara? Let's continue with Sara. Mention some activities that Sara can or can do. <clears throat> Sara can. Sara can read. Read the book. Sara can play volleyball. Sara can play volleyball. Okay. Play volleyball. What else? Volleyball. Um, paint. And paint. 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 Oh yes, she but can, can play volleyball and paint. So, what are the activities that she can't do? Uh, Sarah can play. She play guitar. violin. Guitar, yes. I think that's a guitar. I think it's violin. Violin? Um, no. Oh, yeah, this one, right? Snowboarding. And it's now go snowboarding. Okay. Nice. No sing instrument. Yeah, she can't. She can play the violin. Okay, so look at this. We have questions. I want you to just check this. Um, let's see. Remember, you better order, can she, can they, can you, can Paul, for example, you can uh, substitute the subject pronoun, he, she, it, for a name, right? So can she ski, can they speak English, can you ride a horse, and can Paul swim? So here you have the short answers. So now, question. Guys, uh, I want you to select one of these pictures. Which one do you want to open? The clocks. This one or this one? Right. Right? Right. Yes. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, so now you have a task. The, the was was empty, I think. Let's see. So let's see, I think it's a quiz. So let me check that. It's opening, okay. Exercise. So we have a grammar test. Okay, so let's do it together. Number one, read the sentences and underline that correct one. I can to swim. I can swim or I can swim in. So what do you think? What's the right answer, guys? Letter B. 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 I can swim. Letter B. 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 I can swim. Okay. B. Okay, how about number two? Can you read number two, please, Rafael? Number two. Uh, we can't we can speak russian oh. russian russian oh. russian 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 um, we can eight. do eight. we eight. cannot speak with russian letter eight. 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 eight okay eight. okay we can't speak russian we can't not speak russian and we can to speak russian so the answer is a right a. okay a, number three a. A. a can you swim can you swim can you swim, can you swim? Letter, letter a, a. 
letter? Little A. 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 Okay. Four. Four. Which is... Yes, I can't. Letter yes, C. I too can. Letter yes, C. I can. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. 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 Okay. C. How about number five? No, I can't. No, I can. No, I can't not. Letter C. A. No, I can't. No, I can't. A, right? A. Yes. A. Okay, so ready for the next part. So we have find the mistakes. So let's find the mistakes. Number one, they can't to speak English. What's the mistake? Two. 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 Okay, so what's the correct form? They can, they can, they can speak, speak English. English. Okay, they can speak English. Ready for the next one? Number two. I can, I can read ride a bike. bike. I can ride a bike. I can ride, 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 ride a bike. I can ride a bike. Okay. So what's the mistake? The verb, right? The verb. Yes, tell me. Mistake too. Two. Two. I can play the violin too. Okay. Two. Mistake. What's the correct form? We can play the we violin. We can play the violin. Excellent. Okay. The mistake is the particle two, two right? Two. Letter D. Please. Can I have some water? Can I have some water? And please. Is okay. Can I have some water? Please, question mark. So the mistake was there. the order. E, so what do you think about E? She can write in Chinese. Writing. She can, she can, write, she can write, write Chinese. Okay, Chinese, capital letter, okay. So the mistake was? Writing. 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 Okay, so what's your score? Your score, guys? Ten. Self evaluation? Ten. Ten. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so now let's go. Uh, we're going to continue with the next one. And let's see, we continue with some more exercises. <clears throat> Let me see. Yes, it's, I think it's here. Okay, can you see the worship? Yes, I look. Okay, I can see. I can see. Uh, so think, uh, well, look at this. So, so I can see things, the right. sense. So you see because of the senses, you see everything and you're not looking for something specific. You see because of the senses. Uh, and the other one is look, look. So you go for something specific, say, and we watch something intentionally. So we, that's why we say watch TV. Okay. So... Let's continue with this. I can swim, they can speak English, and she can ride a bike. So give me two examples. Let's see, let's start one by one. Julio, give me two examples. Two examples. Things you can do. I can play the basketball. You can play basketball. Basketball, basketball. okay. Another one. I can drive a motorcycle. Drive, drive. Ah, okay. Drive. The motorbike, okay. Um, Let's see, Veronica, tell me, 
two activities that you can do. Veronica Burgos. Yes. I, I, I can't play the guitar. I can drive a car. Okay, perfect. Let's see, Marlene. Two examples, Marlene. Ana Marlene. I can cook. Mm -hmm. And I can sing. No, oh, really? Really, yeah. Okay, nice. Blanca, how about you, Blanca? <clears throat> I can cook the chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, I can play, play basketball. Okay, awesome. Let's see, um, question, somebody else. Daniel, Daniel, tell us, Daniel, what's something you can do? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Two examples. Hello. Tell us about two examples of some abilities that you have. For example, uh, do you cook? Can you cook? You can ride a bike. I can't. I can. can't. I can. Oh. No, you, about you. I can. Okay. How about, let's see, can you cook? Yes, no, can you cook chicken or something? I don't know, sushi, for example. No. No, okay. So remember, this is just a, a reminder of it. So you need to add the infinitive after can. And we have to be careful for the negatives. So you can add this or not. I can't drive a car. I cannot drive. They can speak French and they cannot speak French. Okay, so I'll continue with this um, because we have some other activities. I'm going to skip that one. Just give me a second. Okay, so now it's time to practice a little bit your speaking. So I want you to practice with some classmates the following questions, at least with two classmates. Uh, for example, can you write with both, ha both hands, guys? Do you have this ability to write with uh, both hands? Yes, no? Tell me. No, no, teacher. No. no. Mm. So, so. Si podemos escribir con ambas manos, dice. Uh -huh. Uh, oh, un poquito. <laughs> a little, okay. Well, you have to try. In uh, my computer, no, yes. No with a computer. Mm, well, well, nice observation. Another question. Um, can you drink three liters of water every day? Do you do it? Food, here. So can you drink? Three liters of water every day? No, did I just two? Just two. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's good. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Can you sing well? Question Can you sing well, guys? Yes, no? No. You can. Yes. I, yes. Okay. So she's going to start singing now. <laughs> Let's see. So I want you to discuss that with your classmates and try to have fun, okay? Let's see. So take a screenshot, please. Are you ready? Ready to join the breakout rooms? Teacher. Okay, perfect. So join the breakout rooms and take a screenshot, okay?
Diana, hola Diana. Eh, Rosa, le envío la invitación nuevamente. Okay, can you do download apps on your phone? ¿Cuál me dijo? Perdón, perdón, no le entendí muy bien. Can you download apps on your phone? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I download. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Can you program can a simple can you program a simple game? And now you can. With both hands. Uh, no, but I can. Can you snap your finger? What? Can you snap your finger? Can you snap your fingers? Ah, okay. Uh, no, I can't. Can you do the split? Se te escuchaba un poco bajo, pero supongo que es la número tres, ¿verdad? Sí. Can you, can you do the split? Eh, uh, no. I, I not can uh, split. I, I not can. Split, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Same computer. Can you download apps on your phone? Yes, I can download, download apps in my phone. Can you program a simple game? Uh, no, I don't get a program a simple game. Okay. Um. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello. Hola. Okay, excellent. You're doing great. Look at this. Uh, remember, the answers, if you are going to answer in a negative form, you say, can you speak, for example, check the, the chat. Can you speak, in, um, well, let's say French. Can you speak French? Yes, I can. So what's the negative? Uh, no, I can't uh -huh. speak no. French. No, I can't. Excellent. So if you if you are the do, do not or don't, so that's um double negative. So don't. So you only add that can't. Okay. No, I can't. Okay. Continue, continue, lady and uh, Milton. Can you make video clips? Yes, I can make video clips. Entonces, teacher, doy la respuesta positiva y la negativa. Ajá, pero cuando es negativa, solamente respondes con el modal, ¿verdad? Nada más contraído. No, I can't. Oh, no, I cannot. Pero, ah, okay. eh, ajá, es que lo que escuché es que estaba diciendo, no, I don't, y después agregabas el can también. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah. Just be careful with that. Solo hay que tener con él, ¿ok? Sí, ya, yeah. comprendo. Gracias, teacher. Ok, continuemos. Talents. Can you okay. now for... Can you... Talento. Talento. Gritar, quizá. Gritar es yugo. Yugo. 
en un concierto, ahí sí, puede gritar. Es como eh, equilibrio, creo yo. Hogle, hogle, your hogle. ¿Quién es esa ficha? Yugo. Teacher. Yugo. ¿Quién es Yugo? What Me is a buscar. Yugle? What do you say? What do you say in Spanish? Can you try pop right? Malabares, malabares. Malabares, ajá. Uh -huh. Juggle, ah, juggle. juggle. Can you juggle? Solo pararme un ah, pie cuando me pongo el calcetín. Sí, sí. <laughs> well, that's an ability. <laughs> ah, I, I can stand on one, uh, okay, on one foot sí, wow. while I wear my sock. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, well, that's nice. Let's draw portraits. Draw portraits. Did you finish? No. Uh, yes. Ah, okay. So we're going back in a minute. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, we'll continue with this activity. Look at this. Uh, we're going to have a short reading, model, scan, and can't, and in order to express um, abilities, right? So read a cir and circle, true or false, for the sentences, if they are right or they are wrong. So I'm going to send you the link so you can download that. Les comparto ahí el enlace para que lo puedan descargar también. Okay, so now let's see um, volunteer. Who wants to read? Volunteer, somebody. Uh, me teacher. Okay, Marlene. I know lots of sports. Hello. I can swim and I can play football. I can play basketball too because we practice at a school, but I can play tennis. What else can I do? Well, I can speak German or French, but I can speak English and Arabic. Okay, awesome. She can swim, true or false? True. True, right? 
How about, let's see, she can't play football. Is that true or false? True. False. False. False, false right? How about false. C? She practices basketball at school. True. False. False. Mm. So true. ready again? I can't play basketball. This I can't. No, no, she. Not she. She browse weekend. Okay. True. It's true. True. Letter D. She can play tennis. She can play tennis. False. I can play it's false. 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 Okay. Yeah, About E. She okay. can't speak Arabic. Uh, false. 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 Are you sure? I yes. yes, right. Okay. Okay, let's continue with the next one. So read the sentence and circle the correct answer. So you can do it on your own. Lo pueden hacer ustedes también si tienen ahí el documento. Eso lo compartí ahí por el chat. Okay, look at these. Um, what's the right answer for letter? Okay, letter A. I can swim. B. She. Can, can't, or no? She can. She can. She can ride a bike. Question Can you? Can you play, 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 play. play. Can you play, play tennis? Play. Letter D. Can you play? He can't. can't. He can't. 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 He can. Okay, so that's can't. She can. About letter C, E, no. letter E. Can, can they, they, can they run fast? Can they, okay. can they, can they. F, he can't. He can't. He, he can eat five eat. pizzas. Five pizzas, okay. G, we. We. We can, can cook. cook. Can, can cook. cook. Can cook. Can cook. Okay. Yeah. A. Can you? Can you? What sports can you play? Okay. What sports can you play? Okay. Nice. Let's see. So let's find our mistakes again. She can drive in a car. She can drive a car. I can't play chess. I can't play chess. I can play chess. The next one. He can make a cake. He can make a cake. How about the next one? They can't sing very well. Okay, they can't. Let's see, letter E. Can you eat with chopstick? Can you eat with chopsticks? Chopsticks, okay. Letter F. She can ride a horse. She can ride a horse, okay. Letter G. She can speak three languages. She can speak three, three language. languages. 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 Language. Languages. Languages. Okay. Uh, how about age? How many? How many musical instruments you can play? How many musical? You can play. You play. You play. Sería entonces. Can play. Can you play? Can you play? Awesome. Can you play? Ajá. Remember that you're going to follow the same structure. Siempre se invierte. So, how many musical instruments can you play? 
How many, uh -huh. how many musical uh -huh. instruments can uh -huh. you play? Solo cuando hay respuesta. No, acá es una, aquí. Bueno, esta es una open question. I can play the drums and the violin. Okay. Drums. So this is a double H question. Another question. How many, let's see. Well, no, let's say how many hamburgers can you eat? How many hamburgers can you eat? How many hamburgers you can eat? Can you? Can you eat? Can you eat? Mm -hmm. So we can invert the order. Siempre invertimos el orden en forma de pregunta. Can you eat? Mm -hmm. Aquí lo que pasa es que veíamos, veíamos acá las yes, no. For example, can you speak English? This is a yes, no question. Okay, yes, no question. Y tenemos las double H question. Recuerden que esta es una respuesta, respuesta, respuesta corta. Yes, I can. No, I can, right? Entonces, si es una double edge question, lo que pasa es que acá siempre se invierte. Siempre sigue este mismo orden. Lo único que la respuesta es una respuesta donde usted da más información. ¿Cuántas hamburguesas te puedes comer? Five or ten. I don't know. For example, where can I... Uh, let's say... Where... Can I put these bags? Where can I put these bags? ¿Dónde puedo poner estas bolsas? bolsas? Okay, put them on the table. On the table. Put them on the table. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? I need. I need help. Uh -huh. My TV isn't working. Why can you? Okay, well, let's see. Let's make a negative. Why can you come? Por qué no puedes venir? I'm sick. Why can't you come? Mm -hmm. I'm sick. sick. Okay, how much water can you drink daily? One liter, two liters, how much? How much water? Liters. For example, let's say three glasses three of water. Three liters. Three liters. Three liters. Okay, questions about that. Questions about the double H question. So look at this. So you can do that with uh, all of the double H questions. So nada más, recuerden la estructura. Recuerden que una double H question puede ser how, where, why, where, what, when. For example, double H when. When can you come? ¿Cuándo puede venir? I can come. When can you come? Mm -hmm. I can I come. Can come on. On Saturday. On Saturday. So you can, you can play with that. Se puede ir jugando ahí con las tablets. Okay, so take a screenshot if you want to have the examples. Are you ready? Any question? Any question, guys? No. Okay. So now let's go back 
And um, well, I need you to open your manuals. But al día de ayer les enviamos el manual. So please open it. So we're going to check that. Yes, the manual. Teacher. Yes. Eh, el, el día de ayer no pude presentarme a la clase porque tuve un accidente de tránsito uh -huh. justo a las 30 que venía a mi casa. Ok, vamos a hacer algo. Ahí. ¿Dónde tengo que mandar la justificación? Porque tomé una hoja al de seguridad, al de aseguradora. Ok, bien, vamos a, vamos a hablar con eso. Eh, solamente es que déjeme un mensaje y yo le voy a compartir eso a las compañeras encargadas de de esos datos. Eh, ¿Se lo dejo dónde? ¿En el chat de aquí, de este, o en el WhatsApp? WhatsApp. No, WhatsApp. Pero ¿por qué no lo vigilas? Ok, so we're going to check this. So please open the manual and open page. Let me see. That's page. Ok, this one. Page number, let me see, 13. Page 13. So do you have the manual, guys? Do you have the manual? Todos tienen el manual? Yes. Okay, awesome. So let's read the following information about some products. So we have some features of products. For example, we have three uh, different kinds of products, tablets, television, and refrigerators. So we're going to describe three things, three features. So a feature is a characteristic, waist, dimension, and quantity. So the waist, we're talking about uh, peso, right? For example, 170 grams, grams, right? Okay, grams. The television, what's the weight? 112.43 pounds. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pounds. Mm, we're going to write the weight, uh, ya que esta es una palabra, la, bueno, viene de latín, la abreviatura que se ocupa es libras, pero que se lee como pounds, I can say pounds. Okay, and uh, how about the refrigerators? What's the weight? 340 pounds, pounds. or 300 pounds. Mm -hmm. okay. So what's that? what about the dimension? 19.3, how do you read this? Centimeters. Centimeter. Centimeter, okay. Centimeters. Centimeters. See, 19.3 centimeters by, by, by 13.7 centimeters yes. by 1.03 wow. oh, 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 centimeters. Wow. centimeters. Okay, yeah. how about the, the, let's say, dimension for a television? What's the dimension? 41.3 inches. Okay. Inches. inches. Las pulgadas. Gramos, uh -huh. centímetros y pulgadas. Okay. Inches. By. By. 26.7. Inches. Inches. And the next one. The same, right? 48. N for a eight, un octavo, one eighth, one eighth, eight. Así vamos a leer los octavos. Okay. One eight. Mm -hmm. So we have a tablets. So let's read it again. Tablets weigh 170 grams, dimension 19.3 centimeters by 
13.7 centimeters by 103 oh. centimeters. Wow. And we have a quantity of 200 uh, tablets, right? The televisions. Who wants to try with this oh. television? 100. 100. 100 and? 112.43 pounds. Uh-huh. 41.3 in by inches. 26.7 in inches. Uh -huh. The quantity? A hundred. A hundred. Refrigerators. Three hundred. Three hundred four livers. Pounds. 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 Three hundred and eighty. Eighty pounds. Okay. Don't worry about that. La escritura queda así porque viene de latín, verdad? Pero lo leemos como pounds. And uh, how about the dimension for the fridges? For a one eighth. Mm -hmm. For a one eighth. And the quantity, how many do we need? Fifteen. Fifty. Fifty. Okay. So now let's answer the questions. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? What do you think? So what do you think about this? Look at the television, they are 100. So can one person do it alone? Yes or no? No. No, right? No, no it can. No, okay. No. No puede. No, they can't. No, they, they can't. Can. How about where can you store 50 refrigerators? Can you tell me an idea? Yes. And where can you store 50 refrigerators? Uh, and, uh, Que si puede vender 50 refrigeradores en el día, ¿verdad? No, store, almacenar. You oh. can store them in. Yes. ¿A dónde se puede almacenar? Where? Place. A building. Uh, oh. Bodega. Okay, a warehouse. Warehouse. Okay. Can you store the tablets on shelves? Yes. Do you think you can do this? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, yes, you can. Or yes, I can. Yes, I can. That depends. Let's see. Um, and just to finish. Well, I want you to complete these exercises here. So you're going to read that statements and write the questions about it. But you can do that on your own, okay? Entonces, nada más acá recordarles que tenemos el librito también para que lo vayan trabajando. Eh, lo que hemos estado viendo, por ejemplo, empezamos acá en la página 9. Me parece que es 9 o 10. Let me check that. Página, ok, página 9. Estamos viendo los conceptos. Acá pueden responder las preguntas. También. Pero no me lo han mandado. Página 10. Y ahorita actualmente vamos por la página 13 y 14. Lo único que les recomiendo es que siempre ingresen después de cada clase a realizar la actividad en la plataforma. No sé cómo vamos hasta el momento con la plataforma. Si alguien ha tenido dificultades, me lo hace saber para apoyarles. Consulta y cuando ingresa a la plataforma, estas actividades son las que puede realizar. Este, no, este es el libro. Este es el libro. Son otras, ¿verdad? Son otras. Eh, lo que están en la plataforma uh -huh. son las actividades evaluadas, las tareas. Entonces, por cada ah, clase pues sí. hay, una, ajá, hay una tarea. 
es al final, nos va a ayudar para obtener su nota final. Entonces, ahí okay. tienen que tener mucho cuidado, tienen que irlas haciendo cada día, ¿verdad? Si se adelantan, pues, y si ya, ya lo hicieron, pues, está bien también. Pero de preferencia sí. pueden hacerlo después de cada clase. Dígame. Eh, y lo de el llenado de, de este folleto o libro, uh -huh. eh, ¿cómo lo vamos a presentar? ¿Escaneado o cómo? Este pueden irlo trabajando en PDF. Y para presentarlo, eh, bueno, al final, por ejemplo, eh, pueden mandar... Lo vamos a llenar en digital, no, no físico. Digital. Si lo tiene físico, me manda una foto, no hay problema. Ah, ok. Eh, vaya, también pueden descargar la aplicación, se llama Adobe PDF. Vamos a ver cuál le tengo. Ok. Bueno, pero es la aplicación de Adobe PDF. Entonces, en esa aplicación a usted le permite editarlo. Lo puede editar en línea también. Si no, pues imprime alguna página, las primeras páginas, y lo va llenando. También, al final de cada semana, eh, me van enviando lo que han trabajado. Por ejemplo, semana 1, ya vamos por la página 14. ¿verdad? Entonces, ya pueden empezar a enviar, o si no, pues hasta que terminemos la semana. Recuerden que eso también lo llevamos al lado para que ustedes vayan practicando. Entonces, sería bueno que lo tengan también. Okay, ¿Ese vamos. libro se puede eh, imprimir y lo han enviado sí. al correo? Sí, ese es el... Bueno, no, ese está en la plataforma, pero también se lo compartimos en WhatsApp. ¿Cómo ingreso a la plataforma para hacer las tareas okay. diarias? Ok, bien. Hagamos algo. Voy a pasar la asistencia antes y luego nos quedamos viendo eso de la plataforma para quienes tienen dudas todavía. Ok, bien, empezamos. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Presente. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Ok, Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Presente. Presente. Thank you, Blanca. Blanca Luz Delgado Flores. Blanca Luz Delgado Flores. Carlos Miguel Umaña. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Present teacher. No, no, no. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Present. Thank you, Carmen. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Present. Thank you, Clelia. Daniel Alberto Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Diana Maribel Hueso. Present. Thank you, Diana. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Thank you. Lady Joana Hernández. Nilton, Present. Thank you, lady. Nilton Alexander Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Oscar René Molina. Present. Thank you. Rafael Antonio Hernández. Present. Thank you, Rafael. Rosa de Los Ángeles Enríquez. Present. Thank you. And Verónica Elizabeth Burgos. Present. Thank you. Miss, yo no escuché mi nombre. Este, yo era la segunda después de Ana Marlene. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Perdón, Ana no. Verónica. Ah, Ana sí. Verónica. Ana Verónica, sí. Acá está. Ok, estamos bien. Gracias, Ana. Gracias, Miss. Ok, muy bien. Uh, Quienes tengan dudas de la plataforma, quedémonos para aclarar alguna duda. Y también este día vamos con, me parece que es Blanca Isabel. Sí, Blanca Isabel. Para la asesoría de consultas. Si alguien más que tenga preguntas, también puede quedarse. Ok, so that's all for today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Mañana no. Sí, tomorrow. Mañana tendré que hacer otra pregunta. ¿Cómo entrar a la plataforma? Me saco también la plataforma. Thank you, guys. See you Monday. Ahora sí, hice toda la pregunta. Ok. Bye. Bye-bye.
Vamos a ingresar a la plataforma primero para... Ok, vamos a ingresar a la plataforma. Bueno, yo me quedo. <ríe> Hola, <ríe> teacher. Ya todo, ya todo, <ríe> Sí. El día lunes me, saqué, me sacó el sistema y tampoco me pasaron lista al final. Me sacó y ya no pude ingresar sí. cuando era, faltaba un minuto para las 10. Sí, me parece que usted dejó un mensaje. Vaya, uh -huh. este, lo que vamos a hacer es que le voy a compartir el enlace para que usted pueda ingresar. Pero una pregunta, ¿le han enviado todos los datos, usuario y contraseña? Solo un correo es el único que yo he recibido. De ahí no he recibido nada más. Y en ese correo le enviaron este... Bueno, en ese correo le, le notificaron. El ID y la clave para entrar a las clases, nada más. Solamente eso. De ahí no me han mandado nada más. Nada no más. Ok, vaya. Entonces sí vamos a tener que solicitarlo porque me parece que les envían... Vaya, pero en ese correo, en ese correo me gustaría que lo verificara nuevamente. Porque muy probablemente ahí está la indicación, ajá, ahí está la indicación del link del, de la plataforma. Ahora hay que revisarlo nuevamente. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se llama quien lo envía? Es decir que no sé, pero busca ahí inglés corporativo. Solo búscalo ah, como inglés corporativo. Uh -huh. Inglés corporativo. Inglés principiante, inglés corporativo. Ah, ese, ese es el, el último. Tengo este. Pense. Buen día, el 25 de enero comienza. Eh, si tengo. Si tengo varios enlaces que han enviado. No, bye. Entonces busque ahí el de la plataforma. Yo ya se lo compartí, dice, pero... Miren, ID, contraseña, cómo activar tu usuario en la plataforma de aprendizaje. Hay un, y hay un link ahí. Uh -huh. Sí, ese. Ese tiene que hacer clic. Pero no sé si es de YouTube o de la plataforma. ¿No dice YouTube? Dice, cómo activar tu usuario en la plataforma de aprendizaje. Y luego aparece otro de grupo de WhatsApp que tampoco lo tengo. Ah, solamente haga clic ahí para unirse directamente al chat, al grupo. El grupo ahorita es... Uh -huh. Ese es para el grupo. Ajá, sí, porque el, mi ST. Uh -huh. El que estaba antes del grupo es de la plataforma. Pero no... Miren mi el grupo, ahorita lo estoy poniendo. Ver el grupo. Es. Ajá, sí, ahí okay. hay que unirse. Vamos ¿Tengo un mensaje o solo me uno y ya? Solo uno, sí. Ok, perfecto. Pero puede dejar un mensaje. Deje un mensaje ahí para que yo le contacte y se pase su dato. Ahí está, hoy sí, ya se unió. Hola. Ahí soy, Verónica. Excelente, Verónica. Ahora, en el link anterior, en el que está antes de ese, haga clic sobre ese. La hace plataforma de aprendizaje. Ese, exacto. Uh -huh. Por favor, inicie la sesión. Entonces, a Conte Course, el correo electrónico. Uh -huh. Vaya, en ese. Eh, tiene que ingresar su correo electrónico. Le va a aparecer esto. Le va a aparecer. Bueno, voy a salir a cerrar la sesión. Vamos a ver. Pero le va a aparecer esta, esta interfaz. Sí. Contraseña, la dirección de correo electrónico que utilizó la... para registrarse con inglés corporativo. Esa tiene que ser 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Y la clave es la mía que yo utilizo con mi correo, ¿verdad? La normal. No, es una que le, es una por defecto de 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pero, ajá, pruebe, pruebe con eso. ¿Cuál le pongo? La, el módulo 4 le pongo. Exacto, módulo 4. La contraseña, entonces la dirección de correo electrónico que utilizó. Y luego pongo aquí. Módulo 4. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver si se lo acepta así. 
Ok, vamos a iniciar sesión. Uh -huh. Uy, me pregunta si con Facebook o con Google. Eh, con Google. ¿Ah? ah, pero una consulta, ¿tiene acceso a ese correo electrónico? El que tiene vinculado. Sí, en el teléfono sí tengo acceso directo. Ah, ok. Bien, entonces está bien, no hay problema. Porque sucede que a veces, le, bueno, siempre se le envía un código de, de verificación para que usted pueda corroborar y que le pueden dar acceso a la, la plataforma. Entonces le pongo Google. O sí, el de Google. Ajá, el que tiene, el que utiliza usted. Porque ahí puede verificar su correo y, y, y validar su cuenta con la plataforma. Ajá, porque el que usa la plataforma es uno y el Google es otro. Sí, no, Facebook es. Vale, right, entonces es para ver. Por favor, iniciar sesión para acceder a su cuenta de curso. Regístrate otra vez. ¿Qué le aparece ahí? Dice, por favor, iniciar para acceder a su cuenta de curso. Dice, has iniciado sesión correctamente en Google, pero tu cuenta de Google no tiene una cuenta de inglés corporativo online vinculada para vincular tus cuentas. Identifícate ahora con tu cuenta, identifícate ahora con tu contraseña de inglés corporativo online. Ah, vaya. Right. Entonces, esa cuenta, eh, esa contraseña es 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. El trato para que me habla esta plataforma me tiene que abrir. ¿Para qué hice? No sé qué hice. Voy. Lo abrí con ¿Cuál es su, cuál el es que su usa ahí burgosabogados arroba hotmail punto com. Y ese y con ese no abrir esto. No. Eh, lo que pasa es que me hizo la pregunta si lo hacía con Facebook o con Google. Temor con Google. No puede ser. Lo, bueno, si ya lo hizo con ese, con ese quedaría. Si no, lo puede hacer con un correo que otro correo que usted tenga. Ajá. Lo que sí es que cuando usted ingresa el enlace de inglés corporativo, este, ahí tiene que ingresar un correo y le va a pedir que usted verifique en ese Ajá. correo porque le van a enviar una verificación. Ah. A para que usted este, ya pueda ingresar al módulo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Vale. ¿Cuánto lo tengo? Para eso. Y la clave es... La clave es 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, la clave. Es que aquí usted se está registrando, no está ingresando. Sí, así es, registrándome. Estoy registrándome para la plataforma, estoy. Tiene que registrarse primero. Ayudándome. 